you know. Some people believe that humankind has been to the moon and walked upon its opal surface. Anyone know what? Those people are right. The popularly held belief that Stanley Kubrick faked the moon landing with his film crew is a false flag, people. To hide the real conspiracy. To hide the truth from the real people. So let's take a deep dive. Let's take a deep look into what's going on on the moon. Let's go, sheeple! To get to the heart of this moon conspiracy, we have to look back. We have to look back at the history books and ancient history from the dawn of mankind until now and realize that there's never been a historical account of the moon in all of human history before the year 1902. 1902, a very important year, by the way. If you do find recordings of it, I guarantee those records are forged. It's a fake made up to lie to you people and keep you complacent to their encroaching thought and sense-offending police state agendas. But before we get into that, I want you to ask yourself, ask yourself an important question. What is the moon? What is the moon really? It's a giant white orb in the sky that comes out at night. But then you think to yourself, about something you've seen with your bare eyes. Something I've seen with my bare eyes. Although I've actually had the brain to figure it out, like so many other brave pathfinders before me. And now you will know their truth, too. You now realize you can see the moon during the day. How can that be in a heliocentric model? Using that standard, it's literally impossible. You need to look back at my previous videos and learn how the Earth is an inverted oblique spheroid. And that's why you can see it during the day, because it never truly goes away. The sun just lights it up to an opacity level of 19.02. And you can only see it in the sunlight if you tilt your head to an even degree of 19.02. Oh. There it is again. Do you see it? 19.02. 19.02. Now what happened in 19.02? The French auteur director, Georges Méliès, released his film. La voyage dans la lune. Or in English, A Trip to the Moon. George Millier is an acclaimed director for pioneering many unique and mystifying special effects, and he was about to launch his greatest one on all of mankind. La Fiction de la Lune, or in Moonspeak. In a secret meeting with time-traveling alien scientists, they convinced him and a team of subterranean lizard people to construct the ultimate occult tool of mind control and oversight. A giant moon, just like in the film, but with a secret both inside and out. The Outer Shell, an occult mind control hypnosis device to control the minds and wills of the American worker. The Inner Shell, housing a hidden video camera and recording device to spy on something higher than the American worker. Something greater than the American worker. Someone greater. That's right, people. Those cameras are spying on God himself. Think about it. Where does God live? In the clouds. What's the only way to get a picture of God then? To take pictures above those clouds. So when they put the moon in the sky, they put the moon above the clouds, and while installing it, God was all like, Well, I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure the moon could be great. But no. In a matter of months, they got evidence of God's secret relationship with Ariana Grande. A relationship we have to keep secret, because as we all know... God is a woman. And if that truth got out, it would cut the number of followers he has on Twitter in half. 
now using those illicit pictures. They're blackmailing God. The lizards are able to stop him from interfering with their new world order, with their shadow governments, with their Illuminati, with their deep state actions and programs. George Soros, Chelsea Clinton, and Donald Trump traveled back in time to rewrite history and chain mankind's fates. But I say no more. I am done with it. I am a human. I am a man. I am a human being, and I will not be spied on. I will not have God and Jesus be spied on anymore. I will not allow the American worker to be enslaved anymore. This is over, NWO. This is over, New World Order. This is over, Lizard People. This is over, Illuminati. I have one solution to this conspiracy. To this moon spiracy. You have to elect me president. You have to elect me president before it's too late. Elect a real human. I'll sneak in there. I'll pretend I'm a part of the Illuminati. I'll date Taylor Swift. And when they least expect it, I will single-handedly travel to the moon with all the nukes in the nuclear arsenal. And I will blow up the moon! Blow up the moon! Blow up the moon! Blow up the moon and free God! Barely remember 2020! Barely remember 2020! Barely remember 20! You gotta elect me in before it's too late! You gotta elect me before those lizard bastards get me in! Everybody.